there's there's a lot of strain in her voice there. I, I'm, I would suggest she was not so sure about that, whether she won or not, but uh, she wasn't as sure. Hey there, I'm Mark Bowden. I'm an expert in human behavior and body language. So usually I'd be looking at the body language of politicians, world leaders, people in business, but today I'm gonna to look at professional mixed martial artists, an area that I really know nothing about. I try and keep myself away from uh, people's fists as much as possible. Okay, so this is Ronda Rousey. She seems to go into some kind of set mental piece, which is to stare with nothing going on, and then breaks that for what, what is here a true Duchenne smile. Uh, so that's a true smile. She's absolutely enjoying being here. There's great pleasure in being here in front of this crowd. So it's interesting with these stare downs, we get eye contact with things that are valuable. We might drop our eye contact away from somebody to say, uh, you have higher status than I do. And I guess that's what people are looking for here is who breaks eye contact first to say, you have more status, you have more power than I do. Ariel Hawani alongside the Strike Force women's bantamweight champion Rowdy Ronda Rousey and uh, Ronda it's good to see you again. She's she's very open and amicable to having a, a chat. You see the eyebrows going up doing the I recognize you. There's certainly nothing about her that says uh, aggressive closed, standoffish. She is very, very open. I'm, I'm guessing that's what makes her a real celebrity in this area. She's got a great ability to be media savvy. Uh, again, I, I've not seen her fight at, at all, I assume. She has to be exceptionally good at that as well, but incredibly good at coming across as a great character on camera here. So this really interests me because I can see how tricky it must be for the female fighters to get the right balance between the ideals that so some people have around what a female should look like and how they should pose, those kind of modeling poses, which ultimately are about weakening the female. Human beings against human beings, what we're looking for is who has upper body strength. But our, our instinctual brain's best guess at who is strongest is to look at upper, upper body strength. That's why uh, you'll see people do this signal a great deal, which is to say, I'm bigger than you thought I was. She's trying to get the compromise between that and looking like a strong, strong fighter. I think she really achieves it here. And the elbow out there to go, look, I'm, I've got big upper body strength. She's got a hand in a fist. She still classically popped her hip out, which unbalances her, essentially. But there's a great combination there around the ideals of, of or some ideals around female form and some ideals around strength. Her opponent here, however, has gone with a very straight body, gone for that upper body strength with the, with the fists here. Here. but ultimately the legs are now quite close together and there's a little bit of a sense of easy to push over you know quite unbalanced often people don't notice this around around body language the wearing of trophies understand the word trophy actually comes from tropic which means the head this the trophies come from the days when armies would go against armies and what you bought back was the head of your opponent but ultimately, for her to get to be seen with the trophy has a psychological advantage over the person not with a trophy. So incredibly healthy teeth and hair. Now that might be an odd thing to comment on, but ultimately, healthy teeth and healthy hair send a message to our instinctual brain to say, this is really good genetic code. So our instinct will look at that and go, this might be a formidable opponent because look how successful they've been at finding high nutritional food source. Again, for a fighter, the fighter's saying, look, I haven't got damage. <laughs> There's, oh yeah, okay, so, so here's a case of somebody uh, 
clearly shouting some words. She keeps her set eye contact, is, does not move back the head from that, just allows that to happen, and then goes into this great pose, again, that she's got, where she's able to show upper body strength and use some of these poses that you'd, you'd normally associate with models. Again, it's totally against what you're trying to get with a fighter. And, and that's nothing that I would ever expect to see male fighters doing. They're not under the same criteria, I would guess, of can you be vulnerable? Can you be this ideal, this society's idea of female and society's idea of male at the same time? The, the males don't have that situation at all. Interesting. So, yeah, she doesn't like that set piece being broken at all, does she? If she doesn't get to look the person in the face and just stand them off, if there's any amount of contact there, she's seen that as aggressive. Wanda, that was particularly intense. There's a lot of animosity. What, what is that all about? I just wanted to get her in her face and show her that I was there for a reason. She's the one that put the fist on my face. You're not the first person I thought that you had the perfect plan to beat me. It's not the first time your camp thought that they had the perfect plan to beat me. I'm going to show you on Sunday why I'm the champ. So in this particular case, I would see strain in her, in her voice there as she was calling back. Uh, saying how she was going to beat her, there's a, there's, there's a lot of strain in her voice there. I, I, I would suggest she was not so sure about that, whether she won or not, but uh, she wasn't as sure about that being a fact. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, the former UFC Fantamweight Champion of the World, Ronda! No smiles on this one. Usually she smiles quite a bit. There's no smiles here. This is very different. When you're trying to look into body language as to what it might mean, you're looking for changes. You're looking for differences. You're looking for how is this different from when it normally is. Having seen her smile such a lot, here there's no smiles at all. That is significant. Just hearing a little bit about her story and the progression there. Yeah, it's interesting to see at the start of her career then uh, how amiable she is, how brilliant she is as not only a fighter but an entertainer, I would say. And then when I noted that uh, strain in the voice, it, it turns out that's her first defeat, uh, a, a brutal defeat, it, it, it turns out, and this huge star, uh, plummets like a, a, a meteorite to earth. Extraordinary story. Uh, you, you know, again, what I was looking at there was what are the fundamentals that stay the same and what changes and then thinking, well, why? What are the possibilities as to why there's this change? That's what you want to look out for in the main when you're reading body languages what are the changes that I see? And critically think, why might these changes be occurring? Really interesting. So make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to MMANation.com.